<laughs> Greetings, fellow. Oh, hang on a minute. I need to turn this drivel off. What load of old cock that is. That's that's how these standers were up as she can hear in the background. Let's get rid of that. Get back to them. My apologies for that. Uh, what have we got in front of us? So we have the Isle of Man Christmas 50p collection. So for the first time last weekend, I decided to go on an auction website and entertain myself by having a few bids on some various coins that were up for sale. So there was a group of these 1980 Isle of Man Christmas 50p's. There was a tub of them. I don't know exactly how many was in the tub, but uh, I wanted to bid on that. The bidding went too high, so I didn't get to snatch those coins, so I was disappointed with that. The other lot that I wanted to bid on was a tub of the 1979 Viking ship coins with the edge inscription and I got skanked on that as well. I got outbid on that. And then out of desperation more than anything, because once I'd been watching the auction for a couple of hours, I felt obliged. As, I mean, I felt I had to buy something. So the only thing left for me to buy <laughs> was a group, a set of Isle of Man coins. And it was described as being eight coins, which would have all been the same year. But Coin Snatcher noticed that they were different. So what we have is the Isle of Man Christmas 50p from 1990. And there was three of those. And then the other coins that arrived were, well, I say they arrived, they all arrived together. But <laughs> these were 1987 coins. That one is a bit it's sort of mucky looking you may have to give that a wipe but uh yeah 1987 otherwise known as the thorny croft bus so we got one two three of these coins so there was eight coins in the lot all together and these were the other two and these were Thorny Croft bus as well. So why did I buy eight coins, five of one kind, three of another? Well, firstly, as I say, because I was desperate to buy something. It's what happens when you get these uh, addictions. You have to buy it, even though, well, you don't really need it or want it. But anyway, well, the reason for buying it was I was hoping that we might get some die mark differences on these coins. Realistically, I didn't expect to because they're all in the same cases. So, if we have a zoom in on this, we've got the AA die mark. This is the 1990 coin. And then the one underneath it, exactly the same die mark. And the one underneath that, exactly the same die mark as well. So, that didn't go according to plan. However, the second lot of coins, now I say they're not the same actually, the, the cases, let me zoom out of this a minute, the cases are different, so when you have a little look there, you can see the Christmas trees are different down in the bottom corners, so they are different, different cases which is rather cool, and I like the idea of buying these in cases, because these tend to mean they're brilliant uncirculated coins they've they've never been in circulation so that's quite nice now the thorny croft bus we can see the die mark there is aa and we can see the die mark there is aa and we can see the die mark on that one is aa as well so not exactly the most illustrious of starts the good news is though, but because the coins that I have in the collection already are circulating coins, come on, come, phone, phone doesn't want to play ball, there we go. So because these are uncirculated coins, I can always take these out of the case and replace the ones that I have in my collection with nice, fresh, cleaner, slightly dirtier looking coins. <laughs> really hasn't gone according to plan at all yet. Uh, the other coins that arrived, the final two, were Thorny Croft Bus again, 
I would say nice and clean. These ones are in nicer condition than that previous one I showed you. So much, much better condition. But we had a result with this because the Thornycroft bus, the one I have, let's just see if I can find it here. Let me just get them out of the tray. So we've got this one, we've got this one, and we've got this one. So the three I have already, we have the AA die mark there. Uh, we have the BB die mark. And we have another BB die mark. But what we didn't have was this one here. So if we have a little zoom in on this. This is an AB die mark coin. Now, AB in this year might be quite difficult to find because I don't have it yet. If it was easy to find, I would have had it in the collection by now. So I, I think to myself, well, that one must have been quite a difficult one to find. So we managed to get one of them. But then even better than that, we got two. So, of course, I can only use one. So I'll have to pop the other one up on eBay and sell it. But uh, just in terms of buying coins from the auction, I would... Uh, advise anybody to think carefully before they do it because this was a an auction called crystals auctions it's based over in the isle of man and you bid against other people obviously in the sale room on the telephone and on the internet and i won this lot of eight coins for 90 pounds so on the on the front it doesn't seem too bad 90 quid for eight coins that's about £11 per coin but then the auction site adds 24% on as a fee to cover whatever costs and expenses they have so your your £90 you need to add on another quarter onto that so 45 so that's another £22.50 roughly that went on to the cost and fees and then they sent me the invoice for shipping and this is what really put me off using the auction house again or having to bid online. Uh, 18 pounds for them to ship these eight coins from the Isle of Minge or the Isle of Man to my house over in sunny Bristol. So all in all, 90 pound plus a 24 percent fee payable to the uh, company, the auctioneers, and then a further. 18 pound on postage so i think it probably worked out it was closer to 140 pounds it cost in the end so 140 pound for eight coins you're talking what for 140 divided by eight is beyond my mathematics 16 17 pound a coin so by the time you go and resell them on ebay and you pay the ebay fees and all the rest of it it's not worth the hassle of doing it. I should have just gone and got a bottle of Jack Daniels and got pished. Didn't think of that, but I'll do that next time. But not all's lost. As I say, uh, these 1987 ones with the BB die mark on them, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't come across these before. If I had, I would have had one in the collection. And of course, as I say, I can take a nice one out of this case and swap the one that I have because the the one that I have, I think, is just a, what what's the word you would say, a little bit manky. Let's have a look at my one and then let's get one of these out of the case and have a look at it as well. Now, these will be available on my website. I will only be charging £25 plus a 25% fee plus about 16 pounds delivery so grab yourself a bargain drop me an email if you want one of these i'm gonna operate the coin snatcher business like uh like the auction house does so let's have a look at what we can do so these are the two coins so the one on the right was the one that was already in the collection and the one on the left is the one that i'm going to swap it with and i did sit before doing the video after eating a lot of dinner I did sit and look at all the die marks as well and uh, you could go blind looking at these die marks you can go blind doing a lot of things but i looked at all the different ones all the different die marks and i think the more you look at them the more you can convince yourself they're slightly different but they're not they're all the same so 
it's just a like for like swap but let's zoom back out of that again but you can see the difference in quality between the coin that came out of the plastic case and the coin that I had in the collection already so well, that was how I spent last Saturday morning for about three hours watching a load of old shit go through the auction house until it got to lot 261 or something, and there's 341, and that was where the Isle of Man coins uh, started to be sold. They had loads of 2003 Snowman coins, they had all the 1980 coins, all the 1979 edge inscribed coins, and basically everything that I was interested in, the... The bidding was, in, in auctioneer terms, the bidding was strong. Uh, I'm quite surprised that a lot of the coins sold for what they did because by the time you add on the 24% fees and the absolutely excessive postal charges to get your coins shipped over to you, I can't see how anybody could resell any of those coins at a profit. So, I'm now faced with the situation where I have many coins and <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them I might just stick them up on eBay because if any of the other Isle of Man 50p collectors are like myself then it is nice I keep pulling out that mucky one it it is not a bit mucky as well it is nice to have coins in the capsules and maybe just a gentle clean with a bit of soapy water will take that muck off and reveal a splendid coin underneath but yeah for now i've got to make one more space on the tray and we'll get one of these 1987 ab die mark coins into the collection so I will keep you updated. I think we're due to have some UK coins delivered soon from the Westminster collection. There's a, a couple that I didn't have that needed to go into the uh, the UK 50p bank date run. So hopefully those, those will arrive shortly. And uh, in the meantime, we'll just keep hunting eBay and see if any bargains come up. But uh, drop your comments below. Any of you bought from the auctions before, after watching my endeavours, would you be tempted to do it or have I put you off? Uh, either way, drop me a comment, let me know. That's it for now. Peace and love. Coin Snatcher out.